Hi, welcome back to my channel, it's Amelia. Today I'm not going to be super happy or hyper or anything like that because I just want to have a chat with you guys about YouTube and honestly some of the things that suck about it. So I've actually been making YouTube videos for a very long time. I used to have a channel before this one and I used to make duct tape crafts. When I was going into junior high, I was actually 6th and 7th grade, so elementary and junior high, I made videos just in my room on my iPad filming me making little duct tape crafts. I really loved doing it and from then I guess I always found YouTube to be a fun platform to make content. I stopped that channel a long time ago and then I kept having an urge to kind of do it again and then I started this channel my sophomore year of high school. I'm currently a senior. Now obviously I don't post super frequently because school is my priority. No matter how much I do love filming, school goes before YouTube. Now I don't consider this a hobby, I don't consider it a job, I just consider it something that I like to do. Over the years, you know, it's gotten hard to make original content, I understand that, because even though I don't make something super often, I still struggle to think about what I'm going to film. And then I realize, like, I make whatever I want, and if you're gonna watch it or not, it's okay, it's up to you. It's hard to make original content, because basically everything has been done. Now it's, we had to wait for something new to come out, and had to review it that exact same day in order to become very popular and relevant, however, it's those people that then rip it off. I'm not talking about those who like, oh, they start a trend and then you do the trend yourself. It's not that. I'm talking about when you're literally ripping off someone else's content for your own and getting paid for that. I think that's just unjust and there needs to be some justice on YouTube. And YouTube's algorithms lately have been kind of weird and they have a lot of problems as I'm sure you have been aware of. Even if you don't make content, you have heard more or less one of your most favorite YouTubers talk about it. I've recently gotten into a little bit of a hole with somebody right now. I do not have problems with this person anymore. I used to. If you have ever looked back at my channel and saw my first video, I was discussing a problem I had with a YouTuber. And since then, I moved on. I have nothing against her. I have no problems with her. I have never even kept in touch. Like, I never talked to her. Like, me and her were not friends or anything. But I never watched her videos after the whole incident. I kind of just steered away from it because I just didn't want to have to deal with any more problems. Her name is Vicka Minna, which is now Vicka Jones. I'm saying Vicka Minna because if you look back, you'll see that name instead of Vicka Jones. I believe she changed her name recently because she's getting divorced. I'm sorry, Vicka, because I understand that it can be very difficult going through a divorce because, quite frankly, I came from a parent that got divorced when I was pretty young. I was only in elementary when it happened and I can only imagine how it feels to be the one getting divorced so I do want to say I'm sorry for that. That that sucks. So what happened if you never saw that video basically I made a comment regarding her video because I found it basically inappropriate because a lot of her viewers at the time were very young and the message I feel like could be translated in a wrong way to those who are watching and she took it as me attacking her and she got very upset she made a video about it but then I made my video and I still have my receipts to this day just because I don't want that coming up against me because quite frankly I was not in the wrong I did nothing she never apologized and I never apologized I do want to apologize and say this I'm sorry if I had offended you in any shape or form that was not my intention my intention was to make sure that you understood that the video you post at the time was not appropriate for your viewers because quite frankly as someone that was that age it kind of was perceived in a wrong way as if the video was about boobs and basically saying like how to get away with things because of boobs and it wasn't only that she did show like some struggles and things with the boobs however she made a part where she ran in slow motion since then she re-uploaded the video and I completely understand because sometimes you make mistakes however when she came out and started attacking me for it and saying that I was calling her a whore, an attention wannabe, and stuff like that, I found it to be way too extreme and not at all what I said. She took my my paragraph out of context and she turned it against me when I was saying that in general, I literally said in general, videos like this are not good for younger viewers. Everyone knows that they made an account like through Facebook or something and they lied about their age. Even though your statistics may say that they're a certain age group, a lot of times they're way below that age. They just use it so they can watch those type of videos. I know for a fact a lot of her viewers at the time were very young and it was just not appropriate and I know if I was a parent I wouldn't want my kids seeing that because quite frankly it was it was not right. I do want to apologize if I offended you, like I said, I never intended to do that. I just kind of wanted to put it out there that I think that you should be more careful with what you post because you do have a platform and there are people who look up to you and that kind of stuff is just not right. The only reason why I watched her again was recently I got a comment on my YouTube channel on a video about her, my first ever YouTube video in fact, 
from Trey N stating, hey, I have some dirt on Vika. If you'd like to know more info, message me or just reply on the comment. The YouTube that Trey had commented on was from April 17th, 2016. So a good chunk of time ago now. I have accepted what happened and I moved on, like I said. But he just commented 19 hours ago from today. Today is Sunday, December 10th, 2017, 1.34 p.m. This is the video that he had commented on. And there is the comment. Feel free to pause it and look at it yourself. Now, I didn't want any dirt. I didn't reply or anything of the sort because quite frankly, I moved on and I and so did she. I wonder what she was up to because I used to watch her videos, you know, and I heard videos used to be a good form of entertainment for me. I used to like watching them and I was excited when she would post a new one. So I was like, I wonder what she's doing now because you know, as time goes, people change and I wonder what kind of content she was creating. So I went onto her channel and then that's when I found out that her name was now Vicka Jones instead of Vicka Minna, that she was getting a divorce with her husband. She hasn't been posting too, too often, but she still posts more than I do, you know? And I saw that she started doing some gaming videos, which is, you know, cool. People do that now. And then I realized that she did a video called Pamper Routine with a little bath emoji, DIY bubble bath soak and body butter. So as you can see, this is her channel and that is the most recent video she had posted. So I decided to watch the video because it was like something that when I first started watching YouTube was the kind of stuff I would watch. It was a DIY and I remember that was really big and now it's more tutorials and stuff as the beauty community continues to grow. I was like, oh, you know, it's old school YouTube. I would love to watch it. So I started watching it. But then I realized it looked very familiar and I felt like I had seen it before. So I was like, okay, this is a bit off. I'm gonna show you what I did. So I went ahead and I started to watch I zoomed in a little bit so you can kind of see. So I decided to start watching it. I'm showing you what happened. So I was just enjoying it. I'm like, okay. Okay, cool. And then she started doing a, a voiceover. I'm like, okay, her video. And then I realized that something was off about it. Like I said, I felt like I had seen it before, so all I did was... Hey dolls, these are some of my favorite DIYs for a relaxing at home spa night. You don't have to go to a spa to treat yourself to a relaxing pamper routine. I'm showing you three spa DIYs and an ultimate relaxing spa night. DIY lavender bubble bath, DIY oatmeal, and Epsom salt bath soak, and a DIY almond body butter. Plus some of my tips for creating a relaxing environment. I hope you enjoy it. So all I did was copy, as you're going to see, three spa DIYs, and I copied the one that she did, copied, and then I went onto YouTube again, and then I pasted the thing that was in her description box, the basically what she was creating, and I saw this video right above hers, and I was like, okay, that looks the exact same like that is literally the exact same thumbnail so I was kind of thrown off by it and I was like what is this and I was like wait I feel like I've seen this video and it was the exact same video by this girl named Katie Bookster hey everyone, it's Katie welcome back to my channel and if you can see this background right here it's the exact same background that you see in the video that Vicka Minna or Vicka Jones now had posted showing like the ingredients and stuff that she uses for her video. So as you can see in the video that Vicka Jones had posted, there's this background with this flower, the pillows, and then this video that Katie had posted is the exact same background. Now I was like, okay, this is, this is the same video. At this point, there's no deny, it's the exact same video. She posted this April 23rd, 2017. April 2017. So that was obviously a ways back. But on Vicka's video that she had just posted December 10th, she ripped off the video. And Katie is just a channel that does multiple different things, DIYs and such. I think that it's unfair. Currently she is at 13k subscribers, which is amazing. Congratulations for that. It's a big count. It's ridiculous because you can clearly see that this is Katie's video. So I just find it quite frankly very unfair that you can see Katie in her home enjoying her YouTube career, making videos, posting things for you guys, and then Vicka comes along and gets the video, chops some scenes out where you can see Katie, and then does a voiceover and lowers the background volume of the original video and make it as if it's her own and claims it's her own. In her description box she says, I did some DIYs for you. You're clearly taking the content and saying that it is yours. And that is stealing. There's no way around it that is stealing content. It's not like you're doing similar DIYs. You're doing that exact same thing. 
you are taking someone else's videos and publishing it as your own and that is stealing is all there is to it i then went ahead and was like okay this is just too far so if you can see the video before is another diy and it says a diy crystal fishnet and the title of it is diy kylie jenner diamond fishnet tights i had to watch the video and it was just music it was just royalty free music as That's all it is, and it is on her channel. I thought the DIY was cool because I've seen them a lot now, and I've seen they're really trendy, and people wear them like ripped jeans, and I thought they were pretty cool, and I was like, okay, I'll watch it. I saw her nails, and I'm like, okay, those are really, like, glittery nails. I was like, okay. So, I had watched this video before I actually found out that she had copied the video from Katie, and I was like, okay, what if this video was copied too? Because at this point, it wouldn't be too much of a shock considering she literally ripped someone else's video off. I wanted to say this before I continue. I'm not trying to do this to have you guys go and attack Vika in any way to perform. I'm just stating this so I can discuss how YouTube as a platform is really not paying attention to the content that's going up. They're not realizing that videos are going up that are just copied. And it's not like, oh, they're doing it again. It's not a recreation. It is literally just stealing. YouTubers that make videos get demonetized because they say one cuss word. But people who can literally just upload another video that someone else made can claim it as their own and get paid for it. That's not right. But we'll discuss that later. I'm just using this as evidence and backup to what I'll discuss later in the video. At this point, like I said, I, I had watched this video before I found out that she copied from Katie. So I saw it and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I found out the whole thing with Katie. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back to this video and see if she copied this as well. So I'm gonna zoom in and show you what I literally did. And it took me a matter of seconds. And honestly, if you guys did it yourself, you would find this out too. I'm on Vicka Jones's channel. And this is her video title. This is the video itself. It's just her showing how to create these DIY little diamond tights that are becoming really popular nowadays. I was looking at it a little more after I realized the Katie videos was copied and I was like, okay, I'm gonna rewatch it. I rewatched it and I realized I'm okay, that doesn't really look like her hands. So all I decided to do was, all I did was copy the title from Vicka Jonas' channel, go onto YouTube, search. So I'm going to show you how I discovered that this video was actually in fact copied as well. You can see I'm on Vicka Jones's channel. She published this video on December 9th, 2017. In the description box she states, to create your own pair. In this DIY, I show you how to create a crystal bling fishnet. So all I did was how to create a crystal bling fishnet. I copied it and then I went ahead and I opened another tab of YouTube and decided to paste that. And I see this video and I start watching a couple, as you can see, I saw one or two or three of them. And I click on this one after I watched like three other videos, because I didn't think this was, because it didn't have the same um, thumbnail. But I started watching it. You can see this frame where it has her holding the crystals and then has her nail and it's very glittery. So then I was like, okay, I'm going to compare it and see if it's the same thing. And lo and behold, it's the exact same thing. Same frame, it's the exact same thing, except Vika just changed the music and took away the background from the original video where the woman who is called Lily Lee Tracy did a voiceover tutorial on how to create these DIY fishnet tights. And you can keep watching and then you'll see this. You go back onto Vika's video. As you can see, she's doing the exact same thing. This is Vika's channel. All she did was copy the video, record it, and then put it as her own. Same video. Same thing. Look at it. Same thing. She just took away the music um, and the voiceover part that Lily had created. So at this point, it's very obvious that Vika has decided to pass off someone else's content as her own. She didn't recreate this. If she had recreated and say, oh, this is my inspiration, I did this video, I followed these steps, it wasn't. She literally just recorded someone else's video and posted it as her own. And there needs to be some justice for that. I don't think that when someone is doing that, because there's other channels I've done, I'm just bringing light to this one because it's the only one I've really found the direct comparison so easy without having to dig for hours and stuff. It was the first, for the first instance with Katie, it was the first video to show up. It was the video she copied. And then below it was hers. It was ripped off from months prior. And then this video, it was like within the top three. And I think YouTube needs to bring some light to this and discuss things with Vika and organize some things, have this video be taken down because it's not her content. 
if YouTube really does care about its creators and the people that are on this platform, then they will bring justice to Katie and Lily, the creators of these these videos, given maybe there's been thousands of other ones who made this DIY, but the video itself is their creation, not hers. So Vika's videos need to be taken down and they need to have a discussion with Vika because it's not the first time she's done something that was, does not follow the guidelines on YouTube. And I'm, once again, not trying to directly attack Vika in any way or form. I'm just stating this as a direct example because this was something that I had recently found. There's been other channels, but they get taken down pretty fast. But Vika is gaining subscribers and she's getting traction on these kind of videos and it's not hers and she's claiming it to be hers and it's just a matter of stealing and this is where I want to fade away from that discussion no disrespect to Vika, Katie, and Liz I'm not trying to drag them into drama I'm just using them as an example because they were unfortunate enough to have someone steal their stuff and this is why I want to talk about YouTube this is the whole point of the video this that was just an example I want to say that YouTube honestly needs to get it together because there's been so many problems lately with the whole demonetization thing that's been going on people can't cut in their videos there's a lot of people who just happen to cuss and that is not saying that this is their there's a lot of people this is their job and to have that be demonetized and like almost every single one of the videos be like useless at this point is ridiculous and a lot of people have been rebelling against it and still posting videos with cussing and they just don't care because that's what their content is that's what people subscribe to like i said earlier in this video yes it's hard to create original content and it gets difficult and sometimes you get stuck in a rut it is not okay to steal no matter what incident it is. Well, some people are going to look at this video and be like, it's just YouTube videos, who cares? I'm going to see it anyways. Now, I'm not saying to delete Vika's channel because Vika does seem to enjoy making YouTube videos as many people do on this platform. However, there needs to be justice. YouTube used to be a great community where everyone would boost each other. There was the gaming section, the beauty section, the DIYs, the hauls, the vlogs, all these different forms of YouTube and that's what made it so beautiful because everyone was able to be themselves and nowadays you can't do that at the risk that people are gonna either hate you you're gonna get um, attacked by one reason or another people are gonna criticize you for no reason they're gonna get your things flagged taken down stolen all these different things and it's it's not okay it's like everyone says it's the YouTube community a community doesn't fight against each other we're not in war we're all here just making a living and or just living here on YouTube we liked making content but it's not okay to do this and that is when YouTube that's what I want to discuss, bring light to this situation overall. The matter that YouTube has become this whole big jumble of negativity that is not okay. And I still like to make YouTube videos. I'm a small YouTuber. I wouldn't even really consider myself a YouTuber, but I post content here because I like to do it as often as I can. No matter how small or big you are, remember that you have a voice and it only takes one clap for the echo to continue. I'm just putting this out there for the sake of someone hopefully seeing it and then hopefully that spreading to someone who has a bigger platform and then them speaking out against it and then YouTube kind of fixing this problem or trying to at least. It's things like this that make YouTube suck. There's been millions of other instances and I'm pretty sure there's other people who have made videos like talking about a different channel that has done this in the past but I just wanted to bring light to it as well because I'm not gonna sit here and if I notice something like this I'm not gonna pretend like it didn't happen. If you are not helping the victim you become the perpetrator. Now once again no disrespect to Vika, because I obviously did use her as my prime example here. But I'm not trying to attack her, and I don't want anybody seeing this video to go to her channel and attack her. But I do want Katie and Lily, for instance, to get some recognition for their videos, and not Vika, because that was not her content to post. Now, if I had seen this from somebody else, I would still give it recognition, still talk about it. But this is the situation that I realized. I do not, once again, I'm just going to say this because I know there's some people that are going to yell at me for some reason or another. Just speak up and try to get justice for those. I was raised in a world where it was supposed to be, you know, everyone is supposed to be polite to each other. If you don't like someone, you just don't talk to them. Simple as that. You don't talk behind their back. Or you don't steal from other people. You just go amongst your life and you are honest and you be as true as you can possibly be. But nowadays, apparently people don't know that. I don't like it, so I'm going to speak up against it, and I don't care if you want to come and attack me because all I'm saying is the pure truth. That was a hefty video, wasn't it? I was uh, planning on posting two videos this day. That was be like makeup related, but I'm just going to post that the day after because quite frankly, I just want this two video to get its own focus point on my channel. But I'll see you guys next time on my channel with those videos, and until then, adios.